Hello, I'm Andrew Joseph Keith, and in this video, we're going to be doing an hour long gesture study of a hand. So let's get right into it. Um, we're going to be building a wire armature, so let's do that first. Something around this length. Cut five wires, and I'll show you how I'm going to put that together, twisting these wires together. The twist right here, that's where the wrist is. But right now, I'm not worrying about the, the gesture or anything really, except just getting wires that look about the right length. I'm just taking it, closing one eye, holding it up directly to my hand and checking the lengths just a tiny bit off of these ones. Now we're ready to start posing the armature, something like this pose. We got that first bend in there. I'm actually going to make a bend in all of these where the knuckles are. If I cut this in half, it's going to be right there. And you can see already with the thumb and just that bend, that looks a little bit better as a hand. And the rhythm of the knuckles, that's a little bit lower on that one. And so about right there is where the knuckles are going to be. And then has a pretty strong bend right there. So the next knuckle is going to be halfway between these two. And so if you cut it in half, that's where the next knuckle is going to be. You can see that these fingers are kind of angled a little bit uh, because of that pressure because I'm pushing down. And if you need for some of these angles, you know, you can just use your tool. It looks kind of funky right now. If I put it down like that, you know, they're all pretty much touching the ground pretty close. And so once we have this armature and it's accurate, start building out the, the armature with some clay. Build that where there's a side plane, a top plane, and the other side plane. Take it one step at a time. So this is kind of like, you know, a, a rectangle shape with some thickness. It bows out a little bit. And so that's all I'm going to worry about. Okay, there we go. And here you can see it. Give a little bit of space between the fingers. I've spent most of the time just capturing the gesture with the armature and squishy pad right here on your thumb. And so I'm going to just come and add play to the thumb. How simple I'm approaching it. It's just basically a drumstick, a chicken stick. That's probably enough for the thumb for right now. Okay, and then let's just cover the other fingers with just a thin layer of clay. So there we go on the pinky. So a little bit of clay, in each of these. It's just an interesting pose. That's why I like to do them a little bit smaller and you know, just see what you can do in an hour. The challenge of knowing, well, is it finished or do I need to keep working on it? You just say, well, I have an hour to get as far as I can get. And then after that, you know, I'll just move on with my life. It does help if you've already captured, you know, that information in the armature, taking some clay, just imagining that, that little pad. Try to keep the hand similar, come in, take little pieces of clay, going in and, and adding these details. We want to try to sculpt thin so that we have room to, to continue to build out those forms. There's this little kind of pad that's swooping under and I'm actually going to, you know, add that because that is what's happening that right there. I'm still learning all the time. And so, um, you know, take your time to learn, to learn different areas and look at the, whatever you're sculpting from many different angles. So there's this knuckle on the thumb. I'm taking a piece of clay, adding that there's this form that wraps around just a little bit better, a little bit more like what I'm, what I'm seeing so that I could see you know, is it still, is it still working? Being aware that you can, you can kind of move things around a little bit and it's kind of got a, like a spider feel to it or Spider-Man maybe, Spider-Man feel to it. Just messed it up. So I'm taking my fingernail, just kind of pressing it against it. So I want there to be enough thickness in the knuckles, add a little piece of clay and then smooth it out. Try your best with each, with each new section and then you get closer and closer to accurate you know every few seconds doing the pose myself looking at it but because this is so squished together there is kind of that crease that'll show up when i'm liking what's happening then that means that i'm probably going to mess it up in the next little bit pieces of clay and just say you know what there's a there's a tendon right there just kind of smooth out and there's a tendon right here to get those tendons kind of going in the direction that I want. Okay. I think I'm going to, I'm going to stop there. And so that's what we, we finished with. And I'm going to take some nicer images of it so that you guys can see it from all around. And that is one, let's see, just under a one hour hand study. And so I encourage you, you know, get some, 
get some wire, get some clay, grab your tools, uh, sit down, and just sculpt. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.